Yay Networks. I think that's the main thing here. Not having anxiety. Yeah. That's the main joy of childhood. Exactly. You don't think of all the things that could go wrong. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Junkyard Mayhem. Returns. Returns (laughs) for another life-enhancing episode. I'm sitting here looking at Shane and... He has, this is kind of like a chronic issue, but it's really pronounced right now. What chronic issue are you about to make fun of? He has a segment of eyebrow hair, maybe like four or five hairs okay. that I think it's because of how you sleep on your pillow, get pushed straight up and it does a little flip up towards the top of his head. And it's it looks- called a cat limb. A cat, a cat eye, yeah. Cat eye. It looks just like Count Olaf in a series of unfortunate events in the movie. I wouldn't have this chronic issue if my caregiver would what, brush calm, out brush out your eyebrows. Brush out my eyebrow. I try. It's permanent. I think we need to like either wet them or hot iron them down. What's it, how many do you tattoo eyebrows on? Is it like microblading or something? I don't know. Is that what that is? I'm not sure. I'm no, gonna, it's not that though. <laughs> I'm gonna get microbladed. Okay. Fake eyebrows. But go down instead of up. Yes. We are uh, the episode. It's not about eyebrows. No, it just caught my attention. It's it's staring at me. What if I began to cry right now? <laughs> like I like completely unprompted and you found out in this moment that this has been a lifelong <laughs> insecurity for me and I just sobbed. Wow, that'd be awful. I feel terrible. And then we broke up. Okay. I guess it's called divorce mm-hmm. <laughs> when you're married. You broke up. Mm-hmm. I'm breaking up with Luckily, you. Luckily, I know that that's not. That's not a problem you have, so. This episode is about people being very mean to us. Starting with me and your eyebrow. (laughs) It actually is about people being mean, not just Hannah. Okay. It's about a dumpster dive. Yep, they're back. Which we will save the topic of for a little while. Yep. And then we are going to take a haunted trip. Oh, Get back to childhood and reflect upon things that we absolutely loved, oh. could not get enough of as kids, mm-hmm. but now, which suck. <laughs> oh, okay. That's very specific. I've been pondering it. Great. And I have some. I figure you'll have some. I don't know how I'm supposed to. Okay. I'll think about it. Your whole thing is like missing. Your youth. Yeah, so, so I don't have any things that suck now. <laughs> you do. I Ooh, promise. Neopets. Loved it. Still think it's great. I'm sure it's just as good as I remember. <laughs> so maybe all my items, <laughs> you'll just be like, yeah, no, I still love that. <laughs> all right. But first, we have had a very good run on YouTube lately. Mm. A few of our videos are receiving millions of views a day. I was going to say, define good. Because we, because from this well, comes evil. <laughs> metric wise, we are receiving millions of views. Yeah. A few of our videos, mostly one video, mm. which is a like ten second clip of how you get me into the pool. Yeah, it's from like twenty twenty. 2019? It's an old 2019, It's I think. an old video, and it's just very simple. Yeah. It's just music. There's no talking. It just shows how you pick me up out of my chair, or I think I'm laying on a pool, like, pool thing. thing. Yeah. And then you carry me to the pool and put me in the water. Wow. Very simple. With all of these tens of millions of views, I thought we would check in <laughs> on how the comment section is Shame. looking. Why would we do that? Why would we do that? I would have give people an idea of what it's like to be disabled and interabled mm-hmm. on YouTube because, I mean, they know. If you've been watching or listening yeah. for a while, you know, but maybe you don't get the scope True. of it. So, I don't think I get the scope of it because it's been years since I have read the comments. The comments I, uh, we are about to read you are from a one- hour window on this video. Oh my god. One hour. Are there nice ones? I, there are lots of nice ones. Okay. I didn't include them. Well, I'm them. just wondering. I didn't include them. Yeah, for my own brain, like, are there any nice comments? There are tons of nice comments. Okay. There are tons of 
horrible yeah. goblin comments. I'm sure. The ones we are going to read represent maybe one fifth of the comments that we got in this hour. Yeah. And they represent maybe half of all the mean ones yeah. that I heard. I didn't pick like the most heinous. Okay. Or like redundant yeah. ones. Nice so, of you. Nice of you to leave out the most heinous. Here we go. Let's see how people are reacting to a nice video of a wife putting her husband in a pool. Okay. Should I read their name? If you'd Some like. Some of them are kind of funny. Yeah. All right. Well, this one is Dallas Cowboys 6993. This is all BS. Is it I, my technique or just the relationship as a whole? <laughs> Does I he have love, a better way to get you in the pool? I love that reaction. You see his spaghetti in the pool. This is bullshit. <laughs> I think he really wants to be swimming. Yeah. He's just mad that he's not in the pool. Okay. I, Jose Luis, said, bad taste, shameful. <laughs> <laughs> what part of it? I think probably the skin. That, that we're, we're in bathing suits. We were in bathing suits as right. getting in the pool. As one does when they're swimming. We're at the Disney pool, right? Is that the video? Yeah, we're, we're at the Disney. Disney. We're at like pool. a public pool. How is that it shameful? Is shameful. <laughs> Maybe they're talking about my disability. Maybe. Like get up and walk. Put yourself it's in, in the bad pool. Taste. This is bad taste. You make your wife lift you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's probably that we're wearing swimsuits. It's probably that I'm wearing a swimsuit. It's probably not a big deal that you're wearing they a don't swimsuit. Care. It's okay. <laughs> All right, Guy Brooks, 3480, says, all due respect. I <laughs> Hold on, hold okay, on, hold on. Guy. Do you think it's going to be good <laughs> after it begins with all due respect? I, I had high hopes, and then I scanned the rest of the sentence. <laughs> all due respect. I'd rather be dead than have a loved one care for me like this. I okay, guy. am jubilantly <laughs> smiling. As I get into the pool. And we're at, we're at like a, a resort. We're at a luxury resort. It's just <laughs> I have an amazing wife yeah. who's like lifting me to have a fun time. Yeah. And to this man, it is worse than death. Yeah. He would rather be dead than do what I'm doing in this video. Yep. That's a funny juxtaposition. Us. Well, you know what? That actually reminds me. I posted the picture of us in the pool from this year's Curious May conference yeah. at the Disney the Disney World Resort. This other there's video. A, there's a lot of details yeah. here. <laughs> this other video was the Disneyland Resort. So please don't get confused. But we were in a pool. It's a beautiful pool. And like a lot of comments were like, that's the best Disney pool out of all the resorts. Like it's gorgeous. This and it's is huge. This is you just posted. Yeah, I just posted it like a week ago. Uh, and it's just me holding Shane in the pool, like one nice photo, and then two like outtakes when he flops over uh, and like yeah. we're, I dump my face in the yeah, we're struggling. Uh, but someone they were like mostly nice comments because it's it's Instagram, which tends to be better. Yeah. Uh, but one comment that like a lot of people jumped on was "You're wasting your life," and it was like just some troll guy. And I was like, "Sir, like I actually want to make a reel about this because like I am on a trip." to Disney World at a luxury resort, like gorgeous hotel in a beautiful pool. And I'm wasting in your life. Yeah. Smiling in the pool with my husband. I am wasting my life. I would love to see where that man wrote that comment from. What are you doing with your life? He's at a nicer hotel. (laughs) And his partner partner does not have a disability. I guarantee (laughs) that. They are, they are actively lifting weights. Yeah, and he's just saying, I did it right. I did it right. But you know he's not. <laughs> you know that's not it. Okay. Anyway, moving on. That just reminded me. Alpha Q. That's always bad when it starts with alpha. <laughs> alpha Q 6778. That's her brother. Let's be realistic. No one person would be with a physically challenged person. That's just how it is. No one? <laughs> not even just like me, but no one? They saw this video and it was the very first time that they <laughs> have ever encountered a disabled person being with a non-disabled wow. person. They should go to the QRSMA conference. There, it, we were swimming in couples. We they were so... should maybe click on one other YouTube video. <laughs> Just uh, saying. I mean, it's not rare. No, <laughs> it's not rare at all. Oh, my God. They have a very specific type of content that they like to watch. Before every search on YouTube, this person writes, non-disabled. Yeah. <laughs> 
block any video. <laughs> That's the qualifier. I like that they use the physically challenged person. Mm-hmm. Like with that comment, you they tried to go polite there. They, you know, went a little askew, but like they thought that that was really polite. I don't want to be mean, but you're certainly not married. <laughs> that is your brother. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, Amir Wahab, 2126, says, unconditional one-sided love. <laughs> How much sacrifice you are doing. Unbelievable. One-sided See, love? One-sided love, which from the video... I guess you can make the argument that you are the one doing the action Uh and therefore providing the love. And you probably don't provide anything back. I am, to be fair, just sort of laying (laughs) and smiling. However, I didn't want to assume that there is more to our life no. and relationship than Mm-mm. instances of you lifting me into pose. No, Amir did not did not extrapolate yeah. anything good from that. Okay. Uh, these are like a bunch together. I'm not going to read their names. Yeah, I wanted to give you a flavor for this part. But it's four different people. Uh, must be rich. Then he must have a lot of money. Then you know he has money. Then she probably milking his disability dough. So the ones about like me... Having money are probably the most common, yeah. like rude comment that we get, yeah. And it's just dripping in both ableism and sexism, yeah. You know, for obvious reasons, we've explained it a million times. But I put these here. There were like a dozen more of these, yeah, I'm sure. in this one hour time period. And I just wanted to say to everyone leaving comments in this exact vein, you are so unoriginal that's true you're so unoriginal you're a lot of things but you're also unoriginal you're horrible and i don't (laughs) like you but you are tired and you are boring yeah and it's unoriginal give us some flair come on like yeah uh, like the all due respect one they at least get a little bonus for yeah writing a slightly different comment you're right (laughs) (laughs) okay alamo prepper 9041. Oh, gee, why are all the people that leave me in comments the same person? I don't know. <laughs> Alamo Prepper? Is that a thing? I, I think Alamo is like where they are. Maybe. Yeah, and then are Prepper, they a doomsday prepper? I assume Prepper is like oh a. My God. But maybe it's something well, else. You know what? Maybe they prepare Alamo Peppers. <laughs> I have no idea. Poor gal needs real man, not that. <laughs> that reminds me of <laughs> Kevin in the office using less words. It reminds me of a caveman, <laughs> and it's caveman logic, too. <laughs> Poor woman needs nice boy. Poor gal needs real man, not that. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Poor gal. Poor gal needs man who hold big stick. <laughs> Hit lion. Oh, okay, Shane. Good one. Good one. <laughs> Well, he's probably preparing a bunker that I could join. <laughs> I think he probably counts himself as a real man. Yeah. I'm going to go out on the limb and say that he's, he, he is raising his hand. has all the canned foods <laughs> that you will need to survive at, we least, have a lot too. at least a year. We have a lot of canned in foods. In the apocalypse. Yeah. Poor gal. Poor me. <sighs> Not that. Don't need that. All right. Roaring Cat 1. You are a very special lady with a heart of gold. You deserve something special for what you do. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Send me a present. <laughs> I think I, I included this one because she's not, or they, uh, they are not. It's a cat, so. Uh, whatever. This person is not trying to be mean. No. Like they think they're being nice. They're being so nice. But if you read this comment <laughs> with the right lens, you see yeah. that it's a little rude. They assume Hannah's giving up and sacrificing a lot and dealing with like a very negative situation and deserves praise. Yeah, that I have a heart of gold for being with you. That I'm not getting the if, same thing yeah. out of the relationship that you are. Because if it was a great, useful marriage, yeah. that wouldn't take a heart of gold. No, you know? that would be really weird. You only deserve a present because you, your husband is ruining your think, life. Yeah, think of a couple that you know that's married, whether it's like your parents or 
your siblings a or a couple, friend. Right? Yeah, like a nice, just a nice, nice couple. Happy couple. Go up to one of them and say they deserve a, they have a heart of gold for what they do and that they deserve something special for being in that relationship. I promise you the other partner <laughs> is going to look at you like, what the hell? That's mean. That will tell you exactly how rude it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, Craig, Craig H, 8832. It's more like the cameraman has a love affair with another man's wife. Oh, my mom was filming us. Yeah, that. We what get, Craig doesn't know is that my <laughs> mom was the one filming us. We get this comment a lot too. That whoever's holding our camera is, is my the, true the real partner of yours. Wow. And it's almost it's, always your mom. It's almost never <laughs> not been my mom. <laughs> Here and there is your friend that we're with. Yeah. Or we propped it up on a tree. Yep. But. It, as far as I know, it's been your parents. And a I'm in times. all the videos. <laughs> it's never been your partner. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mercedes Belfield, ten eleven. People with special needs are sarcastic, very hung up on themselves, and yes, think they are it. It must be a way to deal with their handicap. <laughs> Myself, I think they are special, but I can't stand to be around them. <laughs> Why in the world? This may be the most outlandish comment we've ever received. <laughs> it might be. Please tell me this is a joke. It started off really good. I was like, yeah, I mean, I am so You are so good. And then you kept hung up on myself? I hung up on my, and I used it to deal with my handicap. Just can't stand to be around you. <laughs> can't stand to be around them. I think they're it. <laughs> How many uh, disabled people has this person met? Also, in that video, we were there was no talking. Nope. It was a silent film. Yep. It was 10 seconds long. <laughs> How much could she have gotten from that video? Well, I was having you carry me in a very like sarcastic <laughs> way. You should tell that I thought I was it. <laughs> <laughs> and she should tell too. Oh my god. Do we have one more or is that it? We have one more. All right. Wayne Drake, sixteen thirty six. All these pe a lot of these people have four numbers. Is this all the same person making like a bunch of accounts? I hope not. That's my dream. I, well, mean, I hope so. They're dedicated and they've been dedicated for about seven years so <laughs> they've made thousands and thousands of accounts now they're all written differently yeah, they are. It can't be. wayne drake says that's got to be the saddest thing to see people especially children in conditions like this no one should ever have to go through this does he know you're not a child once again please watch your videos yeah if you have any tiny tiny part of your brain that thinks Wow, this guy has it rough. Yeah. I, I didn't do that. I'd rather be dead. Mm -hmm. Watch her videos. Yeah. Watch other videos by other disabled people. Mm -hmm. And respect our experience, which from our videos and the videos and, you know, posts of many other disabled people. Yeah. We're telling you we have great lives. Yeah. We're having fun. We get to work and have success. We travel. Yeah. We're in love. Exactly. The end. The end. Mic drop. Boom. Mic drop. My mic can't really. No, we're tethered in here, but. Drop, but. I think we should take a quick break. Yeah. Rinse our mouths out. Seriously. From all that bile, vile, bile. Yeah, and then I've got a dumpster dive for you. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. All right, we're back. It's time for my dumpster dive. Dumpster dive. We're going back to Disney World. But we're not talking about, I mean, actually, it would make a lot more sense if we were doing like a dumpster dive. <laughs> that sounds way more interesting. On Disney. Or, Do that one. No, no. It's, it's, I'm actually a little bit embarrassed right now because of how not that it is. <sighs> Um, you know when you're in Florida and you see all of those little lizards everywhere? Or anywhere in the south, really. Yeah, but they're, they're like, everywhere. Are they? Yeah. I guess so. I mean, yeah, they're like in California. Arizona, New Mexico. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well in Florida uh, is where I'm talking about. Can't I can't vouch for the species in different states, Shane. We're doing another animal? Yes, we're doing another animal. We're doing anoles. <laughs> <laughs> no, an animal you said or an anole? <laughs> It's an animal called an anole. Oh, all right. Okay. I've already learned something. These are the little Florida lizards that are all around. Those are called anoles? Yes. How do you spell it? Is it like anal? Oh, <laughs> Shane. It's spelled A-N-O-L-E. Anole. Anole. Okay, so I've always been a very big fan of these lizards ever since I first went to Florida when I was like seven what do you mean by big fan i love them i love to see them i get excited every time i see one we don't have lizards like that in 
Connecticut where I grew up or Minnesota, we don't see lizards. Yeah. So I've always loved to see them. Anyway, at the conference, we were sitting with friends talking and I watched out of the corner of my eye, a large lizard, a large anole chasing and then capturing with its mouth a tiny anole. And that's Harim well, I- interrupted <laughs> A very deep conversation. No, I we waited. Having- I waited until it was over, and then I was like, "Um, like, did anybody? Did, I just saw this horrible thing happen. I just saw a murder. Yeah, and our friends were like, "Oh no, they eat each other. Like that. That's total. That's totally what you just Nonchalant. saw." Nonchalant. And I was like, "Excuse me." <laughs> so then I figured this would be a perfect topic for a deep dive. You know, a lizard cannibalism. Um, yes, well, the anoles in general. And the first thing I needed to figure out was how to pronounce anole because I knew they were called that, but I wasn't confident to say anole or anoli. Anole. Oh, Shane. And it turns out that you can say either anole or anoli, and different sources say it different ways. However, I'm going to go with the Smithsonian. Their video. They sound reputable. They pronounced it anole, but a lot of people say anoli. So. I feel like I've heard the word anole. Yeah. I haven't heard anoli. Well, I have when I was researching this, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to use anole. But there are eight species of anoles. Anole. I wonder what the plural is. I didn't get that far. It's anoli. Anole. <laughs> of anoli. Found in Florida, but only one of them is native, and that's the green anole. There are seven other hinds that yes. just bopped in. The seven others, they were brought in on like ships, boats, the illegal pet trade, all of that stuff. Not always illegal pet trade. I guess some of it is legal, but. All right. Brown anole, crested anole, Hispaniolan green anole. Whoa. I know. Night anole, Hispaniolan stout anole, bark anole, and Jamaican giant anole, which I really want to see that one. Uh, I want a Jamaican giant. giant anole. I know. They are like one of the most popular lizard pets, if not the most. Not the Jamaican one. Oh. Like anoles in general are like the most popular lizard You to can have. have those as pets. Yes. What? I know. They're so small and cute. I know. You should want to get it. a baby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And they're also, I just have to say, like, they have a death wish. They stamper in front of my wheels. Yeah. And I've come so close I know. to ruining many of them. Yeah, but you never did. As far as I'm aware, I've not hit one yet. No, you haven't. They they're stamper. fast. They're they pretty really fast. They really stamper. Yeah. All right. So green and brown anoles are the most common. So that's probably the ones that we see the most. Uh-huh. Uh, they both... We're going to go into the eating thing because I just couldn't wait for this. They both eat like bugs, you know, the normal things that you would imagine a lizard eats. But brown, Larva. yeah, but brown anoles are particularly known for eating like anything that they can physically get their mouths Mouth around. around. No, yeah. are you serious? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much anything, including like small fish. Like Whoa. they'll snatch fish from the side of, you know, the ponds. It kind of reminds me of you. Like anything that you can get your mouth around. <laughs> You'll put it in there. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> also small lizards. Okay. So green anoles will occasionally, they've been seen eating like baby brown anoles, like other species babies, but it's like very rare, like not a common thing. It's, it's been witnessed though. Yeah. It happens often enough that it's not that rare. Well, it's been witnessed, but it's like, oh, wow, that happens occasionally. Brown anoles will like eat baby <laughs> lizards and they will not just eat baby green anoles they will eat their own baby brown oh anoles, man which these articles called cannibalizing baby brown anoles i, I knew it it's cannibalism yeah man. they eat their own species alive too yeah it's not like they eat ones that perish no they chase them down anything that moves they'll like chase <laughs> okay so would they bet you would they bet humans um i guess they like could that was never in any I, they don't really they're too small, probably. And their mouths don't... The kind of teeth they have are not teeth that, like, would yeah. be a problem for us. It would us. be a futile effort. It would just be like a... Yeah. Like that. It'd be like them... Oh, it would be so cute. I know. All right. When they mate... Baby. When they mate, the brown... I'm sorry. When they mate... But this is a green and brown, I'm pretty sure. The male comes... Careful with how you pronounce a null in this segment. <laughs> Shane. <laughs> The male, like they do this whole thing where the male's like, you know, bobbing his head around and the female will be like, I'm, yes, I accept it's you. Hot. Yeah. And then the male will come over, bite her neck to hold on. Uh, and then they'll mate for like an hour. Uh, an hour? And that's what one article said, 30 to 60 minutes. Oh my God. And then she goes and lays her egg. Jeez. But that was the brown. It might be quicker for green. I don't know. 
Anyway, that you was that this, that's hour, not even written in here. That hour of maiden really puts me in the mood to go eat one of my youth. <laughs> Literally. Can't wait for this one to hatch. I'm <laughs> hungry. It's going to be delicious. Okay, but brown anoles, so we were saying that they eat their babies. They will also eat, they do eat their own shedded skin. Uh, when they shed their skin, they'll eat it, yeah. which is a good source of calcium. And if they lose their tail, like if it gets you know caught or whatever... They will eat their tail. <laughs> and they don't like, we don't really know if that is for food or to like not leave a trace for predators, but they have been known to eat their own tail. It's kind of like how dogs will like, take, well, not all dogs, but some dogs will like, eat their own poop. Yeah, or like their throw up or whatever. Uh, That's God. disgusting. Yeah, sorry, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is truly a dumpster dive. <laughs> and brown anoles are generally less arboreal than green anoles. So they're more often on the ground, whereas green anoles stay m- more in the trees. Okay. I was trying to work out in my big brain what arboreal meant. And I went, Arbor Day, probably oh, in trees. Wow. Good job. You got there. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, brown anoles who are like just a more badass version of a green and all, or like, well, you know, in a crazed way. Savage. Yeah, sad, like just like a bad, they're bad. Where, so the green ones are a little bit more chill, but the brown ones are not native. So they're native to the Bahamas and Cuba and were introduced to Southern Florida like decades ago, like 60 years ago on like a ship, you know, they just yeah. kind of stowed away. Uh, and they have outcompeted the North American native green anole. I wonder why. I know. They're which, eating them. They're, li- they're like, you guys that don't eat each other. Like, here we are. <laughs> We're going to eat you. Uh, you and- know what really helps the species? Just eating itself. <laughs> well, it works for them. Uh, so the green anole has declined in numbers as a result, but it's not It's not in like a catastrophic it's way. just so bad. I know. The, the nice... Well mannered, yeah. Green anoles that aren't eating people, yeah, aren't eating other lizards. Yet the now they're being the hunted. State. They're being hunted. Uh, so this is actually really interesting. This is a quote. It's all very interesting. Yeah, as a result of invasive brown anoles, green anoles have had to perch higher and higher up in trees. And generation after generation, their feet evolved to become better at gripping the thinner, smoother branches found higher up. As a result, over the course of just 15 years and about 20 generations, their toe pads have become larger with more sticky scales on their feet. A great example of rapid evolution at work. Whoa. Yeah, so the green anoles are just moving up. That's interesting. So we probably you always see the brown think of ones. evolution, I always think of it as taking like thousands or millions of years. I think that's like the classic sense of it. This is more yeah. like a, I mean, they're calling it rapid. Well, you but know? for any animal... That the generation cycle is is that quick much shorter. Twenty generations for us would take yeah, a long time. Yeah, a long time. Yeah, it's interesting. We could breed uh, Chloe if she was breedable. Breed, no. What do we? I don't know. Evolve her into something like oh, smarter. You, uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. What can we breed into something better? <laughs> I was like, why are we breeding our dog? What's happening? I was thinking of rapid evolution. Okay, a brown knoll. A brown and knoll Chloe and a dog mixed. A little fluffy. Okay. Okay, it's late in the day. It's 3 p.m. We're in our slump, everybody. <laughs> Don't mind us. All right, so green anoles live about two to eight years in the wild. These are the green ones now, the more subdued. That's a big variance. Yeah, well, because they're being hunted by brown anoles, so you never really know. And four to six years in captivity. Um, and they'll eat, like, a lot of other, you know, all the same stuff also, just not quite as, you know, not quite as much. Uh, they are referred to as American chameleons, even though they're not true chameleons because they can change their color from brown to green and oh. a couple different shades in there. What if they ever change colors to be like, no, no, like we're not the green ones. Maybe. Don't eat us. I don't think so. But the brown ones are like, I don't care what color you are, I'm eating you. Yeah? yeah. Males and females both have dewlaps, the skin under their throat. <sighs> uh, what males is it called? Dewlap. Dewlap? Yeah, but males' dewlaps are much bigger and bright red, while females' dewlaps are much smaller and white or pale pink. You know, the little... Fr- the, the number of words in this segment that sound almost inappropriate... I know. ...are n- n- numerable. It's hard for you. All right. We're wrapping it up now. I have one more fun fact that is going to make you never want to go to Florida again. <laughs> well, I'm already there, so... I like I almost don't believe that this is true, but it was like on a very reputable website. This is about green and Was it fun lizard fat? No. no. 
They can glide from high perches with the help of a membrane close to the legs. Like a, a glider? Yeah. No. Apparently. Really? So you never know when a green anole is going to fly down from the upper branches of a tree and eat you and land on you. <laughs> I know. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I, I want to see one fly. Yeah, I've never seen a lizard fly. I know. Well, we could probably like mm. look it up. It's probably like they can jump really far between branches or something. So like, if we go to the pet store right now, yeah. Well, after we finish this episode, mm-hmm. there will be anoles there that we can purchase. <laughs> I think so. I don't. I have to check what's in stock. I feel like it's a hundred thing though, where like a nice big fish tank probably wouldn't be big enough. Yeah, you know that they, they we could get like, one of those big yeah. like seven foot t- like ones for iguanas and get like yeah. No, you don't want. I an just anole. feel weird. Like if they have like a room size thing, we could turn could our basement a, into an anole oh, yeah, no, habitat. Uh-uh. Yeah, that would do over well with Liz and George. Hey, we know this is a shared house, but we have an idea. We have an idea for the basement. And Clear out I- your stuff, everybody. <laughs> and by idea, we mean we have a box of 40 anoles here. <laughs> they are eating each other aggressively. Oh. We need to get them out of this box. Mm-hmm. So we release them in the basement. <laughs> Don't go down there. Wow. It would be fun. I would love to have a big room in the basement dedicated to an animal. Of some kind. Yeah, oh, no, that's your dream. It is my dream. Maybe not a lizard. Maybe like a... Guinea pigs. <sighs> Guinea pigs. Every animal sounds so just like dirty to me. What about like a kitten? I'm going to call up one of those uh, commenters and ask, maybe the one with the bunker, ask if anybody... <laughs> she needs a real man. Anybody like guinea pigs that wants to take me in? <laughs> this has run its course. <laughs> Poor gal. Doesn't even have a basement full of anoles. All right. We have one more segment. Shane's things that are no longer good uh, after childhood. <laughs> yeah, I'm really gonna, excited to hear that. get more upset. <laughs> <laughs> we'll right. be right back. <laughs> we are back. And let's take a moment to reflect upon all of the things that we loved about childhood, mm-hmm. but which now we hate. Oh, that is strong. Getting old is about loss. Okay. The loss of innocence. I'll begin. <laughs> Lunchables, if you are unaware, are in a different country where they don't have them, are these like little Pre-packaged. prepared yeah. lunch boxes that have like, th- there's different kinds, but they have like little. Build your own nachos. And it's like yeah, it'll be like like turkey sandwich though, but it's like Ritz crackers uh-huh, little with a little slice. Of cheese. Yeah, they're, it's they're, not a sandwich. They're very like skimpy. Yeah, you know? it's like ten sad nacho chips and then like a, a little salsa packet cup. of salsa. <laughs> yeah, they spent the like eat on the dough kind of. Yeah, but as a kid, they were a delicacy. At least for me, That's I true. had. A number of breakdowns in the grocery store, <laughs> begging, literally begging my mom or dad to let me get one Lunchable. Oh, my God. I won't even eat it today. I'll save it. <laughs> I'll save it for this week. <laughs> oh, please. They have the pizza flavor. Please. Wow. And the food Batman didn't strike me as particularly vile. Yeah, so it was just amazing. <laughs> but today, or in, in today's age, yeah, you know, as a 31-year-old, if I opened a Lunchable, I think I would kindly ask for a different item. But you know yeah. what? That's new because when you first moved out here, which was five years ago, you uh-huh. were about 26. Yeah. I remember on one of our first trips to the grocery <sighs> store, you saw Lunchables in the refrigerator section mm-hmm. and you were so excited and you bought one. That was nostalgia. Yeah. But do you remember that it wasn't It's good? over now. It was decidedly bad. <laughs> yeah. I have one memory of Lunchables and it's when I was in elementary school. I was not, I've never eaten a Lunchable. I was not allowed to buy Lunchables. It wasn't an option. I didn't have grocery store meltdowns because I was not even shown the Lunchables. Lunchables. Like, I did not know about you them. You were walked swiftly past the yeah, Lunchable aisle. To the, like, tofu section. But uh, I remember that one time a kid brought a Lunchable into school as, like, their lunch. I'm This probably happened more than once, but what I a, saw it once, like, next champ. to me. 
having the best day of his yeah, life. Yeah, for like his special treat lunch. And I was like, oh my God, like that's so cool. Like that whole oh, kit wow. that they have there. And like I had my pre-made, like my mom's made sandwich, you know, whatever <laughs> she packed me and like my little pickle slices Gross. <laughs> that I loved. <laughs> uh, but that one time I was like, oh, I want a Lunchable. <laughs> But I never did have one. They were and now it's see. too late. They were a to see and now they are not. Yeah. We should do a video where we try no, Lunchable let's sometime. not. <laughs> All right, I have one, Shane. Yes. Uh, water parks. Ooh, good one. Uh, we drove past the water park in Disney, and I was like, oh, my God, water park. Like, I really want to go. And then I we went to the pool, and there were, like, kids everywhere, like, spitting and splashing. Probably PM. And yeah. More than PM. And I was like, oh, like, kids are definitely, like, peeing and pooping in their like swim diapers that like, is disgusting screaming i'm not putting my head like under in the way yeah. yeah and then i thought of a water park like a wave pool used to love them and now i'm like that is actually disgusting yeah disgusting and you you didn't want to do the water slide that our hotel yeah. just had because you were like well there's a lot of people yeah and it's long enclosed. line yeah it's you enclosed know, it's like, what if i get stuck but when you were a kid you would have been at the top of yeah, that because i had none of those yeah. fears of like what if i get stuck i just uh -huh. i didn't get stuck it was fine yeah so sad that, i think that's the main thing here not having anxiety yeah that's the main joy of childhood exactly oh. you don't think of all the things that could go wrong unless you're an anxious child that's true i was an anxious child understand. though <laughs> but i not about like germs no. yeah and now i'm more like ew that's gross yeah you couldn't pay me to go to a water park today yeah i mean i would if you asked yeah you, you would <laughs> shane you would all right i have another one sleepovers excuse Excuse me? Are you still like sleepovers? What's wrong with a sleepover? Okay. Well, think about it as a kid. You are, it, it's like top tier excitement. Yeah. You're your parents. Can I please, don't say, wait till I finish. <laughs> don't say no until I'm done. May I please sleep over at Marissa's house? You're sleeping over at Marissa's I'm being house? You. I'm being you. I didn't know Marissa. Or Kevin, whoever it I, is. Why would I be sleeping over at Kevin's house? Anyone. Who the anyone, hell is Kevin? Any, uh, this is a fake character. Okay. I'm a kid. Okay. This is my best friend. <laughs> my parents says, you know what? Yeah. You've been good lately. Go ahead. Have a sleepover. Boom. Best night of your That's life. That's true. You're playing video games. You're eating junk the, food. Like the intense joy when your parents say yes to a sleep. I can still feel it. Now, as an adult, the only time you really ever sleep over at another adult's house yeah. is like, I'm not going to play stay in with family yeah but like with a friend is like if you've been there too late and maybe you don't want to drive or you're home, like visiting and you're like all right i'll crash on the couch well i mean it's still fun and like i think it would be fun like, i don't have my coffee i know i don't have my special robe that i like but you don't have that joy <laughs> you know that like you don't have it yeah you're just like oh okay I'll, yeah i'll sleep here that's true <laughs> I think another one is all nighters. Oh yeah, like trying to stay up all night was a big thing at sleepovers. Yeah. and now I like I could never. I, and there's we don't want to. Now. Why would I want to do yeah. that? No, why would like, I want to do that? Here and there, I have the idea of like let's stay up all night. Yeah, by midnight, I'm like nah. Uh uh, that sounds awful. It's gonna ruin my tomorrow. <laughs> the amount of fun I will have from midnight to seven a.m. Oh my god, is none way less than if I just slept. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Okay, I have another one. Having physical paper cash. Ooh, like from the tooth fairy. Oh, yeah, like when you would get a $10, my, my uh, grandfather, my mom's dad, would give us a weekly allowance, he told it. Wow. He would visit every week and he would bring my brother and I. Oh my God, I forgot about this. <gasps> he would give us each a little Ziploc bag of like 10 pieces of candy. Oh. And then, like, a $5 bill. Oh, my God. And that $5 bill was so exciting. Your prized possession. Because it meant we could, like, walk to 7-Eleven and yep. get a Slurpee or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, having money is obviously helpful. Yeah. But physical paper $5 it's bills. It's not exciting. I'm like, I don't want 10 $5 bills. I just will use my card. I know. I, what am I going to do with these? physical dollar bills you're right so wow maybe for leaving a tip yeah it could be useful, it can be useful. in a hotel yeah but otherwise or something. Yeah. Mm -mm. no all right i have one 
I was just thinking about this yesterday. Uh, I was laying outside uh and I was thinking Uh to myself, remember when you were a kid and you would just like sprint around at random all the time? All day. Like you'd be like, what's over there? And just like run toward it. Yeah. Or you'd be like, chase me. Or you'd be like, chase (laughs) for an hour, for an hour. (laughs) Hide and seek. And you just like go at top speed everywhere. Like how did we not? And whenever you're curfew was yeah you lamented it uh-huh you're like one more hour outside <laughs> please <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> so cute though now we lay by the pool for 20 minutes i know i'm like oh, i'm tired. like it's a little bit hot <laughs> <laughs> should we do it <laughs> oh my god yeah but i like i never have the urge to run no thinking of myself as a kid i would like literally run everywhere yeah you not even like play outside but just like you're in the mall. Yeah. You know? And it, kids just, rec- you see a kid run like, away from their parents. Mom, I'm going to run to the end of the aisle, okay? <laughs> you just hold on. Time, Time me. me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's nice. I wish I had a little bit of that. I need to find that. A bit more energetic. That childhood energy and wonder. I know. But I don't have it. It's gone. Run. Can you run somewhere? Uh, I can't. <laughs> All right, that was cute. That was, a little well, reminiscing. Sad, but yeah. It's not yeah. that sad. I guess getting older. Has benefits as well. Yeah. Like. Oh, okay. Go ahead. The wisdom that we gain. From loss. From <laughs> loss. All right, everyone. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode. There are lots of highs and lows in this episode. It was a little all over the place. If you enjoyed, please review, like the video. Comment. Whatever, wherever you're watching or subscribe. listening. Yeah. Do whatever you can. We appreciate it. And. It's a junkyard out there. And this junkyard is infested with annuls. <laughs> Why can you not say it? Annuls. A knoll. A knoll. A knoll. No. Yeah, a knoll. A knoll. Goodbye. <laughs>